it is time for some low hanging fruit. And joining us from NFL Films, the one and only Mike Mayock. Hello, Mike. Dan, that was an awful intro. <laughs> you know what? Coming from you, I really appreciate that. And, of course, big Thursday night game in uh, Kansas City coming up. Peyton Manning looked just okay against the Ravens last week. Give us your thoughts on Peyton. Yeah, I watched the tape, and I think it's fair to have a conversation about how well or how poorly Peyton Manning played. I think there's some other issues affecting that, but let's be fair and stay with Peyton. Now, he threw the ball 40 times, Dan. He was 22 for 32 between 0 and 10 yards from the line of scrimmage. He was 2 for 4 from 11 to 20, and he was 0 for 4 at any ball over 20 yards from the line of scrimmage. So, effectively, Dan, he was only 2 for 8 for any ball thrown beyond 10 yards of the line of scrimmage. Now, we're going to take a little closer look. On this play, they get everything they want. Naked bootleg. Wide open to Marius Thomas, and he throws it into the dirt. Poor throw. Nickel Blitz forces the ball out quickly, but again, Sanders wins deep. Peyton overthrows him. Another deep ball. Now, this time, good protection, but just slightly overthrown. But this is the play right here that bothers me, okay? Now, this is a Tampa 2. Two safeties are going to play deep half. And the Mike linebacker is supposed to run down the middle of the field protecting this route. All of that happens, by the way. And Peyton's going to read off of this safety. So you get a wide release, an up-the-field release, linebacker underneath. And to me, the throw should go here. However, the safety's going to cheat. And I think the reason the safety cheats is because he doesn't think Peyton is going to make the throw. Now, look. He's locked in here. Look at number one down here. He's wide open, and I don't think that safety believes that Peyton can make the throw. He jumps the route. The ball's overthrown. Now let's take a look at some other issues that they have, and that's pass protection, new coaches, new scheme. Let's go to the second piece. Now, this one is Evan Mathis, signed in training camp from the Philadelphia Eagles. It's just one-on-one. -on -one. He gets overextended. He gets beat. Play action, that play's over. Peyton's got no shot. Now, interesting play here. Watch Kyle Arrington. He's got the slot. He does a great job disrupting the route at the line of scrimmage, and that's where Peyton wants to go with the football. Once he can't go there and brings the football down, it's all over. Now, same exact play from the end zone. Baltimore's got seven guys up, but only four are going to come. Denver has five offensive linemen and a tight end, so it's six blocking four, and I want you to see what the four do. Doomerville kills Ryan Harris. Cappy Lewis Moore beats the center, Paradis. Chris Canty beats the left tackle, and down here, Suggs absolutely kills the tight end. So six on four, but all four guys win. So, Dan, I kind of look at that tape and I say, yeah, it's fair to take a shot at Peyton. He's got to do a better job pushing the ball down the field, intermediate and deep. But it's a new coaching staff. It's a new scheme. It's a revamped offensive line. And what we're forgetting about is they won a big game against a quality opponent in Baltimore. Yeah, that's a good point, Mike. But I, I want to ask you this. Bigger worry right now, if you're a Broncos fan moving forward, is it the quarterback or is it the O-line? You know, I don't think it has to – I'm not sure what the bigger worry is. I think we need to monitor Peyton because Peyton needs to push the intermediate and deep stuff, and he's got to be effective at it. All right, he is the one and only Mike Mayock. Hey, Mike, do you want to share your uh, Twitter handle with our friends? <laughs> you, whatever you want, big boy. <laughs> oh, we love you, man. Thanks for your time. We'll see you again next week. You got it.